So the walls are very important because we read in Isaiah on your walls, so Jerusalem I have uh, appointed watchmen. And it's very interesting because sometimes when I come from the old city, I see people praying on the old city walls. And then I shout at them and I say to them, but you guys are praying on the wrong walls. Those walls are 450 years old, built by Solomon the Great. If I come to the city of David, it tells me in the Bible, the city will be built on its foundation and the palace in its proper place. Now we just found the palace 10 years ago, more or less. How can you build something on something if you didn't know where it was? We had to find that. And also, as we said in um, Ecclesiastes, it says, what is was, what will be was, and God seeks the pursuit. So I have to learn how God works because He works in cycles. And I have to learn from history to know how to align myself with the future. So if you're gonna run, run blindly into the future, you, you're not going to know what to do. And the most important thing is in the name of, of God, the Yudke Vavke name, the most important part of that name is the present. And if you run ahead of Him, you create, uh, as we say in Israel, a balagan. You start to create things that are, that are out of His will because you run ahead of Him. For you to understand the future, you have to sit into the present. But through the present, we are now uncovering history so that we can know how to preempt and what will be the preempt for the times coming. But also, one of the most important things that God says to the Jewish people, you will remember. You will remember. Because as you remember, you take your power from and your koach, your strength, comes from what He did so that you know that He will carry you into the future. Yeah. And standing here, I can see that His promise came to life, right? Yeah. If you didn't see this, you wouldn't have been able to know that God is doing what He promised. So that's why archaeology is so important. We have been given the city of David. We have been given back the ancient biblical Jerusalem, the heart. We have to kickstart the heart because we give Him then the room to do what He has to do. And that's why the city of David preempts everything else that needs to happen. That's so fascinating. You know, the funny thing is you're saying here, that's, and it might be kind of a funny thought, but it's kind of like this, it's kind of like pulsing my brain right now. If you, if you're, truthfully claiming, which I, I see that there's some evidence here, obviously this was King David's palace. Do you feel like that the Mashiach's palace is going to be built right back here again? Like this is going to be the palace for the king in the New Jerusalem, right back on David's former palace? I mean, that's like a, like an epic thought to think that we're like in the <laughs> middle of where the king's palace will be. I was thinking, you know, is he going to rule from the UK, from London, from the, the queen's uh, throne? Is he going to rule from Israel, from the Knesset? Where is he going to rule from? We have to come back to the origin. We have to come back to the place where it all began. And that's why I'm the luckiest girl in the world because right now I'm standing <laughs> in the place the where things will happen again. This is it. This is the nucleus of, of the future.